What up YouTube? Back here walking. I'm walking. Here lately I'm always walking somewhere to fish, but um, going along these railroad tracks, this old trail. It's an old road trail. It's all washed out, closed off. Um, going back over here to try to get to this creek, try to do some fishing, try it off the main river. So let's go. Maybe I'll catch something decent today. Come on guys. I can see the main river from here, but I'm gonna be real quiet because something big, a big stripe or something. I'll be sitting in here, some trout. I can feel the water getting colder as I get towards the main river. I'm hoping here by the main river because the water's getting cold that could do a trout would be super freaking cool. Really like to get a trout. He's decent. I'd probably keep him actually and eat him. I haven't had a trout in a long time. There we go. There's something. I found a pocket of something. Pocket of the old trusty bluegill. Old trusty bluegill. My best friend. Best friend in the world. Bluegill. Yeah, yeah. There we go. First fish of the day. After about 15, 20 minutes. The old bluegill. Let's see here. But yeah. Got our first fish of the day, got a bluegill. Let's see what else we can get. Nothing. See that line over there where the light meets the dark there. I'm gonna catch a fish right there. Told you. Told you, told you, told you. It's like a little small mouth and rock bass. That's a nice size of rock bass. That's a big rock bass. Is that a rock bass? Sorry about the angle. Look at the size of that rock bass. That's a nice rock bass. Normally catch them pretty small. Nice rock bass. Watch him go back to the water. There's a lot, like a, a line that goes in where the light goes in, and then on both sides it's dark. See, not all ambush points have to be have to be rocks and drop-offs and stuff. Sometimes it's light. A lot of people don't talk about that light. That light can be ambush points too. And that little rock bass, he was sitting there in the dark, right along there, just waiting for something to come bouncing through there. And he smacked it. I switched that out. I had that green head on there. I had that green head on there earlier. And um, I just felt like it was too bright. It was like a bright, it's like a brighter green head. It goes good with this for dirtier water, but the only thing I have is those black. I don't have that in that. That, uh, the ice was, I feel like it's just too much. So I got rid of it and switched out. And we seem to have done a little bit better. I didn't get a bot for a long time. There's another one. Feels like a decent fish. Maybe another rock bass. Maybe a bluegill, I don't know. Another rock bass. Cool. Another decent sized little guy. The spinies. Spinies. Pretty fish. See you later, buddy. I'm using this. This line ain't right. Really, this setup is wrong all the way around. This line is wrong. This rod is wrong. This reel is wrong. I mean, it's, it's a fighting struggle. The line is most definitely wrong. I've got some 
I've got, I've ordered a, um, an ultralight setup from Bass Pro. I've already got some four pound uh, P-line um, four coat that I'm gonna be using for this kind of fishing. There we go. Something. Hit it when it fell. It's almost like if I don't get a decent reaction strike out of the rock bass. No way, is it? That's a big green sunfish. Dang it, I dropped him. Son of a bugger thing, I'm a jiggy. I dropped him. He's on my foot. That or it's a big old snake swimming by me, which could be a possibility. A bluegill, two rock bass, and a green sunfish. I want a bass. This line, this line is, you know, bass have, they're smart, man. They don't, they see that line and they're over it. Line is really important with bass. Well, guys, it's been about, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. Uh, came up through here, seen a decent bass, got him to follow, but he seen the line or something. He just he just gave up once he got in the light there. Um, caught two rock bass, a bluegill, and what else have we caught? A green sunfish. So that's been pretty much it. Uh, we're going to go on to the main river here, fish around, then head back, fish up the other way for a little while. So stay tuned. Let's keep fishing. Green, big green sunfish. Look at that thing. That is a big, big old green sunfish. Look at that thing. See you, buddy. There he goes. Well, guys, we made it out to the main river. We've caught a few fish. Not anything like a whole lot, but it's been nice. I'd like to catch a trout, it would be really cool. That would be super cool to catch a trout. I think we're gonna fish. We're gonna fish along this sitting over here. <clears throat> Where that light line is. Calm water. See the water here, this is a Hiawassee River. And this creek is way warmer. The Hiawassee River in Tennessee is probably one of the best uh, trout fishing rivers on this side of the state at least. And um because the water comes through a flume, it comes through a mountain, it stays cool. This water stays 54 degrees all year round. So it's constantly the same temperature. So the river is, well, it's probably a little warmer because it's coming down the mountain. So at this point, it's probably about 65 degrees. That's why really the trout are better on up the mountain during the summer. And then you can come farther down the stream during the winter time because the trout migrate down. There's huge browns. Um, in the evening which next year i'm gonna try to really get into that but uh stripers run up this river in the middle of summer and stuff i think it's about over with now but uh next year we'll get on that i've never done it before i know some people that do it and it'll be real fun there's some huge stripers that run up through here but yeah we're just going to kind of work our way back well, guys, we're making our way back down. I'm gonna hit this hole again. This deep hole. This is super deep. Maybe something moved back into it. Ha! I finally caught a crappie on a crappie jig. Look at that. Nice size crappie too. I think that's about legal. I could keep that, but look at that crappie. That's 10 inches. Easy. Crappie. 
Nice pretty crappie. It's a nice crappie. I've had a couple of those, it makes a good meal. Heck yeah. Pretty crappie. I'm actually kind of surprised to catch that crappie in here. That's actually kind of surprising to me. I did not expect that. Well, we fished all the way down to the river. We caught uh, two green sunfish, I think, um, a bluegill, no, and two rock bass. I don't know. We've caught some, and a white crappie, which is pretty cool. And um, yeah, we're just waking our way back up. We're almost to the bridge, back where we were. Um, it's really not that far down there, but I, I worked it slow there because the water's so clear and I just went slow. I don't have much time. We got another hour or so. I'm gonna go past the bridge up that way just a little ways and see what we can catch. Let's just go. Let's keep fishing. It felt pretty good and it came off as soon as it jerked so crappy drag a big tree land Don't come off, you little critter. Come on now. He's fighting good, that little critter is. Come on now. It's up to this old crappy drag. Pretty little smallmouth. There we go. Pretty little smallmouth. Uh, he was hooked around the gill plate. It took me a minute to get him off. That's why I had to pause. He's pretty though. He's tiny. He's not very big. He's about, I don't know, about a foot maybe. Like that little guy. He fought hard. He was loads of fun. So let him go. There he went. Awesome, awesome. Well, there we go. A little something. A little something. What we got here? Another bluegill. Another bluegill. Little guy. He may be our last fish of the day evening. He may not be. See you, buddy. Well, everybody, another one bites the dust. Uh, today's been pretty fun. We didn't travel very far, but I didn't have a lot of time. I've only had about two hours. Um, we caught some decent little fish. We caught a smallmouth, a crappie, a white crappie, a black crappie. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was a white crappie, but it may have been a um, Some green sunfish, um, bluegills. I think that's about it. It's a rock bass. But today's been pretty fun. Explored another pretty place. Uh, definitely we'll come back here and walk on up. Uh, this river goes for a while. I've done made a video or two on this river just higher up So there's a lot of places to explore. There's a lot of other rivers to explore and I'm gonna keep making videos So y'all guys stay tuned keep watching Like and subscribe and I'll see y'all guys later. Thanks <laughs>